the success of this film depends, I think, more than anything on your lead actor. Correct. Penn Badgley. Yes. Just kidding. Yes. <laughs> He's gorgeous. <laughs> yes. Um, but I wanted to know how, what made Emma right for this role and, and how did you find her? Um, so I auditioned a lot of actresses for this role, um, ranging in age as you can imagine. Um, and every actress that came in to audition for me in my office, I, I asked them after the audition to go home and uh, go to their computer, sit in front of their computer and do any scene from the movie right into your right into the iChat because a lot of this movie is, is all of it into her web webcam and I really thought that this movie is all this actor's face and you can't hide with smoke and mirrors. So M came in and I'd known her work before and I was a fan of hers and she gave an audition, just crushed the audition in my office. I said go home, do it. Within three hours there she emailed me right to my to my uh, account a two-page scene from the movie without stopping. Emailed it, blown away by it, absolutely blown away, because all it is is this, there's no hiding, there's no makeup, there's just her. I took my laptop, walked it over to the head of the studio right across the lot, this is like the old time story, I walked across the lot, went in there and said, push play, said that's our girl. They said, who is this person who looked at it? That day we made the deal. It was unbelievably that she was this girl, and it was the, the luckiest thing ever for this movie and for me that she walked in. And it's also rare to have that sort of combination of attractiveness and also that that wit mm -hmm. because you don't encounter that a lot especially in high right. school or and you add that a big pain in the ass into the mix and it becomes yeah. fun it becomes really fun to shoot yeah no she's she's incredibly funny incredibly smart by far the best actor I've ever worked with and uh, is gonna be a gigantic superstar if you've seen the movie you can I hope you agree <laughs> yeah Certainly, I mean, she wore some of those outfits. Uh, she did quite well. She she wore them well, and uh, it's fun watching them wear them. Uh, one aspect I really liked about this was the the concept of the benevolent slut. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's an ingenious uh, device, and I think it's also something potentially groundbreaking because if there were more benevolent sluts, <laughs> there'd be a lot less angry Nerds. men in the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. The difference in this is that she didn't carry through in anything. Yeah. So this is actually speaks to what the movie's about. Uh, people really just want to, it's all about reputation. People don't necessarily crave the actual sexual act. They crave having people t talk about them. It's that old story like, you know, you want it, the first thing you want to do when you have sex with your first girl or boy is tell someone about it. And that's what this is all about. It's not about the act, it's about the buildup and it's about afterwards. So if you take out the buildup and the afterwards and make it about the act, that's the private thing. And I like that term, benevolent slut. It's a good term. Really quick, tell me uh, about the status of your next project. It's a big uh, deal. It's a big deal. We're in the middle of shooting. I shot till 6.30 in the morning last night. Um, we shot, it's with uh, Justin, it's called Friends with Benefits right now. It's uh, with Justin Timberlake, Mila Kunis, Woody Harrelson, Richard Jenkins, Patricia Clarkson, who plays the mother in Easy A, uh, Emma Stone, Andy Samberg, Jason Siegel, Rashida Jones, Jenna Elfman, and uh, a couple cameos that uh, we're not talking about, um, but it's like a yeah. classic. If this was a kind of a genre movie of the 80s movies kind of deconstructing, this is a classic 50s Hepburn and Tracy movie updated to now. Just tell me it's better than Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day did very well. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs>